Working in the journal today. A little sketch I'd started a while back. And I'm testing out some uh, some new gouache cakes. Um, usually painting with gouache out of the tube. Sometimes portable. I'll work in the journal like I'm doing here. This is in my uh, large size um, watercolor sketchbook. But uh, I'm wanting to test out these uh, Karen Dosh gouache cakes, um, which have a really uh, high pigmentation. I was pretty shocked, actually. I'm usually kind of a Holbein guy, and I like Holbein's a lot. But man, these things are loaded with pigment. Again, I usually just use them gouache cakes for uh, sketchbooking and stuff, but wanted to test them out for permanency and things like that. Also kind of using my uh, shorter shorter brush, uh, Jack Richardson brushes, which I have grown to really like. Um, the short handle actually works pretty nice when you're out, usually out sketching. I kind of prefer the longer ones when I'm working at home, but sometimes being portable, having that short handle really makes a difference. My lovely wife got these for me actually for uh, for Christmas, so I'm kind of enjoying these a lot. Thank you, honey. Not real sure what I'm gonna do color-wise here. I'm sort of messing around a little bit, so I'm trying a a little bit of experimentation with this color. I'm not real sure what I want to do. I definitely want uh, good lighting in here, so I'm picturing some sort of gradient. We'll definitely be working in the background. So, any New Year's resolutions out there for you guys? I look forward to uh, starting some new ones. A few things I want to work on. I want to get back to a little bit more plain air stuff this year. A few studio pieces I definitely want to get back to. Some of my oils I have... Uh, started so it's going to be a busy year teaching I think so I'll be doing a lot of that as well um this this sketchbook actually is a uh, a moleskin a moleskin heavyweight watercolor sketchbook oversized so it's I think it's 140 pound. Um, good stuff. Nice tooth, durable. You can really beat it up. And then I'm gonna work in gouache, and eventually I'll be kind of more opaque with it. Although I'm staying pretty thin right now. Also, working with gouache, I tend to use more flats versus uh, like rounds as far as brushes go. But I'm gonna probably build up with it um, and get more opaque. So I definitely need a surface that's gonna be able to get beat up a little bit. Probably won't get that far in one sitting here, but I'll check back in, post some progress as we go.